not for the greatest at some points, but... <laughs> Make sure the maps are on screen. That way. Oh, damn, this feels like mad professional. Huh? This feels nice, dude, having this much table space. Jake is on the right and Gabriel is on the left. Okay. Huh? I am commentating. Oh, hello, Gabriel and Jake. Hey. All right. I want to shout out Jake's playmat. I had that one many years ago. Uh, Probably still have it I'm in storage somewhere. I'm pretty sure they have the, the name. The name's reverse? Okay, so yeah. Gabriel's playmat then. Send the link, send the link. Regardless, uh, it's a cool playmat from a time when uh, HP never got above 300. Just hit the button. On the... I shouted out the stream on Twitter, Nick. I shouted out the stream and there's probably going to be people in chat. Well, they better not be shooters, they'll get right, do you happen to know what decks <laughs> these two people are playing, or? Um, yes. Gabriel yeah. <laughs> is playing Rapid Strike Malamar, and Jake is playing Rapid Strike Hershey All right, let's go so single prizers. <laughs> yeah. Psychic type at that, so. Yeah, that, that's a, that could be tough either way, it's like. Yeah, because Jake has Rapid Flow, so we can easily yeah. decimate Gabe's board if Gabriel doesn't set up correctly, or a little fast enough. Mm -hmm. But um, if Gabriel is able to set up, he might be able to... Just kind of kill Jake's yeah. Hershey foods before Jake takes his prizes. Yeah. But. All right. My next question is: Is Jake playing Metachamp? Uh, we don't really know. I okay. most lists haven't been playing it lately. Yeah, um, that's something I understand because it feels like a win more card, but also if it goes off, you guaranteed win the game. So. Yeah, but like, just the like it's so rare that you're actually going to get something down to mm -hmm. 20 hp remaining in a relevant situation yeah all right so it's interesting though malamar was a deck we kind of heard a lot of buzz about and then nothing happened because people realized that snipe is kind of broken in this format so yeah like if you have less than 120 hp like you're basically just gonna go home yeah <laughs> but Malamar is sitting with the... Oh, no! Looks... Goodbye, guys. Like... Rest uh, in okay. peace. One. Uh, that's, that's or a six. Some, some dices are... Kills, yeah. yeah. Uh, who knows? Oh, well. Are we on the air now? Okay. okay. Well, we've got both our mics on, so eventually something will happen. I'll just go like here. I'll keep it close All right, game. Number one. Exactly. But like, I guess they I, I, I got to cheer for the single prize deck, but I'm not going to be too biased about it. Yeah. Just, I feel like when a single prize deck is like, because there's no good ones. They're all like rogue or worse. Yeah, you always want to see something new come out yeah. on top. And hey, Malamar is interesting. It's benefits a lot from the Octillery, of course. Yes. Really, really broken card that just doesn't have like, it requires a specific deck because there isn't a good generic Rapid Strike card yet. Yeah, but if you just kind of get Marnie and then have your Octo killed by something, then you yeah. might be kind of stranded. Yep. It's a shortfall of the deck, probably why it doesn't see as much play as it does. Two weeks tonight, we'll like Dragapult, for example, just has a field day with any one prize deck. All right. Looks All right, like here we go. Starting. Oh, no. And it looks like Gabriel is going first, starting with top that. De top right. deck's the NK. That's that's really unfortunate. <laughs> All right, walk me through Great Ball. I'd uh, Great Ball is look at the top seven cards of your deck. Choose a Pokemon you find there and put it into your hand. You are supposed to reveal it. I don't know why Gabriel did not. Hmm. Um, probably just a little error. Hopefully, it yeah. gets fixed up. Um, yeah, I, I come from a time before Great Ball was a good card, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. It, luckily, he did actually grab the Malamar, though. Yeah, so pretty much nothing daring him to Marty. Going on, benching an yeah. AK, just getting that. And that's started. Looks like we got the Fasimian. Not going to matter too much in this matchup, but a cute tech nonetheless. 
Uh, yep, pretty huge for uh, when. You know, Gabriel, I believe, I know Jake came first in Swiss, which I believe makes Gabriel oh. the eighth seed. Yeah, Gabriel came in in eighth seed. Jake went in with a 5 0 undefeated record with that absurd Urshifu rapid flow yeah. deck. With using that Passimian and the uh, telescopic sight to essentially hit for 360 divided between two targets every yeah. single turn. You spread your damage correctly, that can be an easy turn three win for yeah. in a lot of matchups. No, this is Rapid Strike. He is, of course, a contender for best deck in the format right now. So here's or we might see why. We might just see a keep calling, which, I mean, going second, keep calling is never terrible. Oh, yeah. Going second, it's arguably what you want to be doing, keeping yeah. just one solvable in the active mm -hmm. and then having your Shifu safe on the bench. Your opponent's only likely going to take one prize going into your next turn instead of two. Oh, so, yeah. And then with the Melanie, that att energy attachment does not really commit you to anything. So you yeah. can easily just like get the Melanie and another It's slightly annoying here energy. because it is a Rapid Strike energy, but... Yeah, I mean... All right, there's a actually, Psychic. That could actually be somewhat important because of the fact that this is a single prize deck, meaning Jake is likely going to need three Rapid Flows in order to take mm -hmm. all six prizes. So yeah. going down on that one energy, if any are prized, or if he has to discard any with something like a research, he could actually be in a bit of trouble. But yeah. anyway, we see Gabriel getting auxiliary, that auxiliary with Evo's. And then going to just sense. look through his deck, try to figure out what's prized. It looks like our second monitor went Just wave, wave the thing. No? I'm going to go back in, actually. Space bar? Uh-oh. Oh well. Okay. Well, we can't see. Ch I'll just pull up chat on my phone. I've got data. All right. So here's the interesting. You obviously have rapid strike search to go fetch the Tower of Waters if you're playing that, but you don't have a good hand. You don't really have the capability to deliver a knockout right now. Yeah, because if if he if he did choose to go in with an attack right here, then he could be in quite a lot of trouble. He is playing a Poke Gear though, so he'll probably have a supporter. There. There's Karina's focus. Hopefully, draw yeah. up to a new hand. Hopefully, get two more inkays so he doesn't get his board wiped. Mm -hmm. Like you're not in danger of eating a rapid flow this turn unless you. Yeah, that's I a mean, little, it's a little bit debatable. He does. Yeah. Ha Jake does require, have the. Like... He does have the remoraid, and he would have still two sobbles, yeah. which would be all he would really need to get the, the rapid strike energy, the Melanie, and a water energy in the discard pile. Yeah. All right. Can it even sense again? I guess this is just getting pieces. But, or maybe even you fail it, so you draw an extra card off of Karina, because uh, Gabriel's hand is not good right now. It's a bit of a struggle. He doesn't really have, I don't even think with the hand he's got, he can knock out a Sobble right now. Getting the Tower of Waters, maybe he's going for it. Yeah. Uh, that stadium's never getting bumped, so congratulations on getting it out first. Giving your opponent one extra brick in their deck now. I should be, I should be telling you to my that, bro. And then you Evo Incense for probably no, just no, 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 Malamar. Like, Who knows? Bit, yeah. yeah. Gonna get shuffled like back at the end of the turn, like, so. Doesn't matter too, too much. Like, you know, yeah, just yeah, having like, something that is a rapid strike when the attack works. If he shuffles in the Karina as well, he can knock out the Savo right now, but you're just gonna play the Karina and hope. Okay, found another Inke and another Karina, so... So, he will be able to make it through to the next turn if he gets hit yeah. by a Gale Thrust. But a Rapid Flow mm -hmm. could easily put him into yeah. a terrible spot here. Oh, he did have another energy, yeah. so... Yeah, it takes the first Jake prize. promoting Remoraid, that is uh, not... It really a sign of anything because of the Tower of Waters. It does not matter. Yeah. Everything on the field yes. for the rest of this game will have free retreat. So. Yeah, so easy pivoting. Never really have to make a commitment. Okay, I know. I know he's got. I know Jake's got a V Max in hand. So we are going to at least see a Gale for us this turn. And then Evo Incense for Drizzile. Oh yeah, Evo Incense easy for Drizzile for Evo Incense for Octillery for whatever if, you want. If he has uh, one of the three combo pieces between his hand, which would be Melanie, Water Energy, or Quick Ball. He just has the Rapid Flow yeah. here. So you only need 
and I saw it. Unfortunately, <laughs> he's got oh. none. A Simeon, an unknown card, and another Evo Incense. Yeah. So, gonna Drizzile for probably just another Drizzile or a piece that gets you to another Drizzile so you can get to the. It's just such a good deck thinner. I wouldn't hate seeing just a quick ball and a research. Mm -hmm. Get another Rapid Strike or Shifu down yeah. so you can go for the. Yeah, gonna get a bucket. That works too. Yeah, just to guarantee the water for the next turn. Hopefully you can find another Urshifu then. It doesn't yeah. end up getting donked. Pretty much just saying, hey, Marty me. Plus, he has a second Evo Incense. He wants to go yeah, so get another Drizzile. Yeah, so he's, def he's almost certainly going to be getting a research here. Yeah. Unless he does have some... Yeah, Drizzile no research. research. That's the Oak research. I always find it... I feel like you can tell a lot about a person from which professor they play. I like Magnolia because I'm a Playboy Cardi fan. Yeah. I just like Magnolia because it's her card. We had enough of Juniper already, even though that was the era I mostly played in. And then I've got a friend who plays the Professor Willow Professor just to flex on people. Yeah. That one's kind of swag. With the unique numbers on it mm -hmm. to do something cool in Pokemon Go. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly Gonna level ball for, I think that's a Sobble. It looks I can't sobbly. imagine it would be anything else. Yeah. yeah. It looks sobbly enough. The verb now for all of it. Crying because he is blinded by the light and nobody can see what he is. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then just skin and retreat. No artillery is kind of unfortunate, oh, but... No backup Urshifu. That is absolutely yeah. massive. Gabriel could make a There's huge swing energy. turn here. If unfortunately, he's able to find that hand doesn't look very good. I guess you've got Rescue Carrier because Melamar only has 90 HP. So you can you can get to your thing right now, assuming you can like you've got artillery to search in energy. The question is, you need four rapid strike cards to hit for weakness. NK would be one. It's, it's forty times, right? Yeah, so forty, eighty, one twenty, one sixty times two. Yeah, three twenty. Only gonna grab the NK. Interesting. You have a free Malamar there without expending anything, unless it has more than ninety HP, and I'm just remembering wrong. I. I think Malamar might have like 110 or something like that. But. I'm gonna look this up quickly. Don't mind me. Uh, rogue decks. We're not. We're not here to. We. No one expected to have to commentate Malamar today. But boy, am I happy that we are. Oh yeah. And All right, see. Malamar has 120. That's on me. Looks like there is an Inke, a level ball, and a great ball. So yeah. I, I don't quite remember if okay, there's the, the Malamar. Octillery was used here. Yeah. yeah, there's the Malamar. So if nothing else, now you can just use it to. He could hypothetically use Scoop Up Net to pick up that Octillery, rebench the Remoraid, and then shuffle the Octillery back in. But a little that, bit of a risky play, but he does have. Yeah, he does have Bruno. He does so have Bruno in hand. He would that, just have that'll to keep you around for a worried. turn. Oh, Martin. <laughs> But at the same time, Marnie's not too much of a huge concern, considering still getting a hand, right? Jake is playing a Melanie deck mm -hmm. and wants to play that almost yeah. every turn that he can. Let's see. Only Currently only an NK and a Malamar in hand. You obviously need the Malamar, so we're currently only at one. We're only doing 40 damage right now, so he needs to find three. Mm -hmm. Like, it, you could just, at that point, it's like you maybe scoop up net the whole artillery. Because taking this knockout is such a huge swing. Yeah, yeah you can you level ball for, like, another NK, then you scoop up net the artillery. And yeah, there's absolutely no real danger to just going all in here, because mm -hmm. Jake is playing a VMAX deck yeah. and has no basic V-bench. So. What, what's he going to do? Yeah. Strafe? <laughs> Keep all right. calling again. <laughs> also going to rapid strike search. You know, Psychic... That's interesting. This format's kind of like a psychic fighting dark triad. Somewhat. Somewhat. Like it's also just a big matter of if you win the coin flip and yeah. get your attachments on the correct turns. Oh, yeah, no. But and yeah, doing and yeah, pretty much that. Uh, Shuffle's in one extra that he doesn't need, but... Interesting choice. Because I know Rapid Strike is 320 and not 330. I can see it on the card from here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just wanting to draw more with a Karina's focus next turn. Maybe. Or maybe just felt like flexing, I don't know. There's definitely like that primal urge to just go for as much damage as humanly possible, you know? We 
see Jake getting the quick shooting out. Yep, a uh, little late for that. I don't see that e-card energy, though. Maybe we will see a strafe. Okay, we'll see and a Marnie. there's that Marnie, hopefully, for Jake. Going to shuffle their yes. hands and put them on the bottom of the decks. And then down to four. Those are five good ones. That's an octillery. That gets Let's you whatever see. you might need. Does Gabriel have a supporter? He does not. That oh. is massive. Maybe, this could be enough yeah. to buy Jake enough time. Maybe not. Oh. Mentioning, maybe that extra Remory had shuffle in might have cost him. Potentially. Well, generally with this deck, though, yeah, because the Octillery would have yeah. been able to get the like if, uh, if you, This is a situation where if you top deck into an Octillery and you had a Remory there, yeah. you were well, back in the yeah. game. And he has a level ball in hand, too. So Yeah. yeah. It's Octillery. Oh. I does that? No, Octillery is too big for level ball. It's 110. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I thought it had 90. I was still thinking so about I. the cool one with Abyssal Hand. I, I'm still in the past, so uh, I just assume that all the stage ones don't have over 100 until they do. And then it's like, oh my god, what's happening to me? <laughs> I remember when I saw the Pig Knight from Black and White base set for the first time, an evolving stage one that had 100 HP. Yeah. My little seven-year-old mind was blown. Oh, yeah. Those were the days. Uh, those were the days. Embor hitting for 150. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, so level ball just for Rem right here. This puts you back a turn. You can maybe muster a knockout with enough level balls, but doing so pretty much denies your ability to set up. That's the thing. Yeah, he's definitely putting himself in a situation where a rapid flow could yeah. basically just end this game. Like, you rapid flow the two with the energy on it. What? Boom. Although, now, he I almost wonder if it would be have, better to... Um, he does have the... Oh, the he has two. a burnout. We're just dumb. He does have the two. Oh! Where did that come from? We're just dumb. Okay. Uh, this is not really a good hand either, but it does get you a knock. It doesn't oh. get you a knockout unless the, unless the Great Ball fires, and you probably want to keep the Great Ball for consistency. He does have... Two support Pokemon and uh, two Inke on the bench to pair with the Malamar active, meaning yeah. that a Rapid Flow uh, may be able to just eliminate the potential to draw into more Rapid Strike Pokemon, yeah. but it cannot eliminate the potential of the Malamar getting the attack. Yeah. Concern, because like all, all, there will be guaranteed at least the Malamar or an NK remaining yeah. next turn. Like, honestly, what... In my opinion, maybe the best thing to do would be to hit the two with the energy on it. Like, hit the active Malamar, then hit the NK with the energy on it, and say, better have it. Because he's got two cards in this sand. I don't know, I don't believe there was the supporter this time. Gabriel, if we keep saying that, eventually we will be right. Gabriel took the knockout here. Mm -hmm. Jake is going to figure out how to get back into this. He's got a Melanie, which may help. But. Absolutely, you can... Easily Drizzile. Get also in. got the best card in the game. So. Drizzile, get an incense for the VMAX, and then just... Go off. Melanie, hope it draws the Rapid Strike energy. And considering he could take out the Mincino and the Remoraid this turn, and then it would leave Gabriel fairly mm -hmm. unlikely to get enough cards. Yeah. But at the same time, he only needs four. Yeah. And like you're pretty much at this point you lose if Gabriel has a supporter. Yeah. That's just a fact. Gabriel has a supporter, you lose. So you're pretty oh, much Jake. just having to gamble on what in those two cards he has plus his draw he's not going to find. And Jake is going to go for the research here. Already having the fighting energy down on the Urshifu. Mm -hmm. Deciding that this is the best way to dig through his yeah. deck. You do and need the second fighting, so yeah, just needs the Rapid Strike energy and the VMAX. Yeah. Gonna quick ball here. Just thinning the deck by a card. Thinning this the is deck where Crobat would be pretty choice, but I understand why people don't play Crobat in this format. Yeah. Just kind of it dies to spread. Very unfortunate. I definitely appreciated playing Crobat before when, you know, you have the quick balls already to support the rest of the engine. And then yeah. it, you basically just have five outs to draw cards. 
Also, Jake is not using quick shooting. He did not use it last turn. He hasn't used it this turn so far. That is definitely something that... That feels like a bit of an oversight. Yeah, absolutely, but it's something easy to forget. Oh, actually, it does look like there are damage counters on that NK. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it looks like, there's, looks like there's 40 on it currently. I'm Oh, there it is. <laughs> it blended in with like the snack NK is holding. <laughs> Yeah, so that makes sense. I, that means if he did one last turn, he should, keyword being should, have another quick shooting, which means he can take the kill on the NK and potentially add himself a three prize turn. Absolutely. But that's all depending on if he quick shooting last turn. Yeah, he probably did. Probably did. He seems like a smart guy. He went 5 0. Um, Absolutely. Once onto there. Yeah, that yeah. is the first one. And now you pretty much... Oh, yeah, now he can actually wipe both the... Now he just wipes out all the yeah, NKs, exactly. and that's probably game. Probably. What a turnaround if he's got the energy. He's got the energy, that's... He has the energy, but where's the VMAX? The question, I don't see it. Oh, crap, you're right. That That's going to be really unfortunate. Looks like there's still one in the deck. You know, if he finds the VMAX, he wins. If he can't find the VMAX, and based on how much he's shuffling, I think he's just got, like, a prayer left. Crap, that's strike energy. Honestly, at this point, you might as well just straight... Oh, it doesn't matter, because... Never mind, it doesn't matter. He's got one prize left. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Uh, may, may do you well have just, it? May as well just pass the Intellion on Oh, he has one more quick shooting. Yeah. Doesn't really matter, does it? Remorade isn't going to... Matter too much. Yeah, uh, so it's game. If... Oh, there oh, is the Karina's focus. There's no, a Chinchino too. No. That's pretty rough. Man, one VMAX away and this game was over. Yeah. But now it's over in the other direction. Okay. Uh, what just... Yeah, that, he, he just traded and discarded the one and drew four drew. cards. Whoopsie. Oops. Uh, that's that's a bit of a... Probably intended to play the Karina's focus down <laughs> no, instead of the psychic energy. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's trying to explain yeah. here. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, uh, so I can confirm that the Karina was in the hand with yeah. four. He started drawing cards. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that. We don't have a direct pipeline to Nick. Also, Gabriel should be at one prize, not two in the counter. So I played. Oh yeah. And then I did like I make do, and then I drew two. I should have drawn two, but I drew three. Seen them? I saw like the first two. I didn't like like any of the like two. You probably saw like two or three. Yeah. And now we wait. The waiting game. Very fun game. You both agree? Yep. You didn't see these? Okay, this is the proper order they were So you didn't see these, you just drew them. Okay, so we'll put these back. Wouldn't those be the top cards? Yeah. Those would be the bottom three, because I drew like one. Oh, yeah, you did one. Yeah. So. All right, looks like they're sorting this out. This is something that's like easily enough sorted out, but I don't think it'll lead to like a game loss or even a prize penalty. Yeah, it sounds like it's just a warning because you didn't look at the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, uh, pay attention. Anyway, back to your regularly scheduled. Um, can't even call Malamar regularly scheduled because. <laughs> No one's playing this deck except for Gabriel here. Here comes the ink. Yeah, at this point, that's just the thing you keep shuffled back. Gabriel has one prize, so he only needs four because Inceleon has 160. But if he doesn't have it, we're back in this sort of chicken game. This, this game has just been a... Better have it. Um, I see a tower, I see a fog crystal, I see an evil incense, he's got it. If he has enough targets left, he's got it. Let's 
So it pretty much comes down to, does he have two things he can search out? He's got an Octillery in the deck, we know that. He can grab Octillery with Evo Incense. Then he can Fog Crystal for, hopefully, he's got another Malamar in there. And that would be game. Well, Fog Crystal can't search for Malamar, though. It's a psych it's search a Psychic it's Pokemon. It's Psychic Basic. Oh. Yeah, so it can only get Inkays in the... All right, well, then it can search out an Inkay. Yeah. I mean, we know there's one in the discard. Maybe two? There's another Malamar with the incense. Mm -hmm. So this just comes down to, does he? Oh, no. Can and I he's evolve? choosing to evolve it. That is strange. Maybe, I guess he maybe just, he just, accepting maybe he just doesn't knows, have the knockout. Yeah, maybe he doesn't have the house. He just knows it, so he's setting yeah. up for next turn. I do like that he evolved it, though, if he knows he can't get the knockout, because then that prevents another quick shooting kill. Yeah. It gives you a chance to get Malamar again next turn. Yeah, this has been a fun game of whiffs to just watch unfold. Yeah. Unfortunate. That three prize turn from Rapid yeah. Strike could have been really neat. Yeah, just going to hit for 40, not what you want to see. Now let's see. So this is when the VMAX comes down. Well, there's a V. I see a Melanie, so we get three cards. Another Rapid Strike energy. Oak or Melanie? Uh, Oak would almost certainly do it. He's got very few cards left in his deck. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't deck out with that, though. Yeah, he looks fine. Oh my god, no way. There it is, the there last we go. one. All right, so Evo and Sense is going to make sure. Hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. That was you, a you double played that this turn. You played that uh -oh. this turn. Back in the hand, back in the hand. Bad boy, bad boy. No, put that back in the hand. Put that back in the hand right now. Dude. Put that back in the hand. Yeah, hopefully they catch that. Still, it's even without the extra evolution, a very, very good turn for Jake. And then it's like you, you charge up one more. Yeah, you just have another one just ready to retreat into with the Tower of Waters. And you take your last two prizes, and that will be game one going to Jake. If that is all assuming Gabriel is not able to find the knockout this turn. Yeah, he needs... But that board state a, is looking yeah. relatively scary. He needs a an energy. He needs hand. a Malamar. He needs... There's the Fog Crystal. That guarantees yeah, the energy. Yeah, that's energy. So he needs a Malamar and then four, four things to punt. Or things to get rid of. Off but, of, I'm assuming, just a Torina. Oh, no, he's got a scoop-up net in hand, and... Could hypothetically play down the scoop-up net to draw more with that curve. Oh, Bruno. that's a Bruno. Oh, never mind, we're fine. We're fine, we're hitting it. Hopefully. Eight cards. Five of them need to be the yeah. ones he needs. Malamar, and then four, four fodder. So that, that's a bit of a tall order. And again, if you don't get Malamar, one, one three, four, two, three. three. Four, uh, he's got Malamar one, If there's one more Rapid Strike in the deck, that If he's got a Remorade in there, that's game. Rem, uh, Remorade or NK. Anything at this point. But uh, I believe he's gone through four NK at this point. This should be number four. Still do not appear to have caught the double evolution. I don't think it's going to end up mattering. It will not, because Amarni was not played. Yeah. So it's nothing the hands more to the change same. the hand. Also, the game's ending before it could have attacked or even evolved. Potentially. Pot oh, did, he's did, he get, did he get the Remoraid? He, re he level evolved for uh, Remoraid. Game's over. It was a much closer game one than I think I would have anticipated from. Yeah, we just saw Jake just not hitting the VMAXs. When he needed them. All right, now he's got five. So, uh, uh oh, well, bam! What just happened to the camera here? It's back. Just wanted to get, wanted to get like a real close look at that 400 points of damage for game. All right, so game one going to Gabriel. This would be a pretty neat upset. 
Always nice to you know. Letting Jake go second, or um, letting Jake go first, pretty big. Taking that pressure off of him to find a turn two Melanie, allowing him to just get his manual attachments turn one and two. This is. All right, game number two. No side deck in this game, so. Overall. Just not too much to say about this matchup. It's pretty yeah. much just Whoever goes draw your wins. cards, do your attacks. Hope you don't whiff, which is a uh, hard for both decks. I would say it's a little harder for Rapid Strike to whiff because Malamar needs a lot more cards in hand. Oh, absolutely. Which like isn't that bad, but still like I'm assuming you. I mean, I wouldn't want to hit turn two Rapid and pitch a water discard right for Melanie. Yeah. All right. Now, what I'm really curious about is what the rest of the, the top cut looks like. Yeah, because this Rapid Strike Urshifu, if Jake makes it through cut, it's a pretty safe, solid pick for pretty much any given meta, unless it's flooded with Dragapult, which we know this one is not. We know there's one Dragapult here, everyone else has a soul. Yeah. Now, Rapid Strike Malamar. Not even that. I feel that's like a deck that has a lot more sketchy matchups. So yeah, uh, if Jake is able to make it through this round, we know he's in a pretty comfortable spot. Yeah, if Gabriel but if Gabriel makes it through, like Jolteon's I wonder how that's gonna Dragapult's a massive problem. Yeah, the thing is, like a quick shooter, if your only spread is quick shooter, your, your basic single prize deck can probably last because you're never killing things with quick shooter in like an established game. Yeah, that's generally not going to work out unless your opponent is having something go pretty wrong. Yeah. However, this is not just Quick Shooter. Neither is Jilteon, neither is Dragapult. Yeah, the Quick Shooting in this deck really being more or less for the sake of just bumping up those yeah. two shots up for slightly Rapid closer. Flow. Yeah, like it sets up Strafe to be a two-shot. It sets up Rapid Flow super well. Like Telescopic Sight on the Rapid Flow is not nominally a knockout on like a Crobat or something. Add some Quick Shooters and, uh, huh, two Mulligans. Really not where you want to be. You're going second and you're giving your opponent a nine card. Uh, and your opponent is playing the Rapid Flow deck. Yeah. Yeah. Going first is huge for almost every deck in this format right now, oh, but yeah. it really can't be understated how huge Rapid Flow <laughs> benefits mm -hmm. from going first, because yeah, when, when you're playing a deck that needs to evolve its basic Pokemon and you're going second, that means your opponent is just guaranteed able to evolve yeah. into their Urshifu VMAX, or oh you can evolve God. anything else. Mulligan number three! Judge Ball, Judge Ball, Judge Ball. But yeah, if you're playing another evolution deck and your opponent just gets the rapid flows yeah, on the luck. turn two, turn before you are legally allowed to evolve any of your Pokemon, you may just find yourself never getting an attack up. Yeah. We, we need bench barrier. We need a barrier for these benches. And we thought ADP was bad. <laughs> I, I will take this format over ADP format any day. At least there's like diversity in decks. Now, it's my favorite thing to do is to show people who only played, like, uh, Pokemon back back before, like, the Sun and Moon era, show them ADP, and they just go, like, what is this card? How did this get printed? And we're all asking ourselves the same question. And it looks like they are finally starting. Jake starting off Quick Balling away in Octo. Yeah, With two it. Sobbles out, this is pretty likely to be an Urshifu or yeah. a Remoraid. He's already, like, selected Urshifu at the front, just kind of checking for prizes. All right, ten, uh, ten, something like a ten-card hand, two oaks in it. Zero energy and zero remoraid. That's actually a little troubling. Mm. That finding that rapid strike energy next turn it may not be as easy as Jake would like it to be. I got to do that a judge ball a single time as a judge. Poor kid got thirteen mulligans before I got to the table. <laughs> it's honestly kind of impressive. Just imagine a deck that tries to deck your opponent out via mulligan. 
No, all you gotta do is you just play unknown hand and a copycat. Yeah. Make your opponent take like 35 mulligans, play the copycat, you win. Easy. All right, yeah, unfortunately no energy. You can still do it with like a Melanie, but that's a much tougher order, especially because we know you don't have Melanie in your hand. You would have to Evo Instance for it, and you don't have the water energy. If you can top deck, again, either Quick Ball, he needs Water energy. energy, Bucket, yeah. or the yeah. Melanie. He can just get the, he can just dou double Drizzle for the other two pieces. Yeah. But he needs at least one of the three. Mm -hmm. All right, just gonna fetch out another NK. Can I just read NK? I just want to see the attack. Spinning attack. Dude, it's pretty insane, though. It's funny, yeah. Hello, Hex Guardian 125. How's it going? You've got fans in the chat. I do. <laughs> All right, gonna attach to. I guess you're kind of prepared for a strafe knockout at this point. So I, I, it makes sense. You're gonna be able to fish out a Tower of Waters. Please don't try to evolve this NK. Please don't try to evolve this NK. I need to keep my streak alive. Too. If I had a nickel for every time somebody was going to evolve a basic that was coming down this turn, I'd have two Dude, nickels. For this which set. Doesn't sound, for this set. <laughs> which doesn't sound like a lot. But it's but weird that it happened, that it happened twice, twice. In one set. And he does not try to evolve the NK. Thank Good God. boy. All right, kind of unfortunate top deck. You can even one sense for like the big boy, and then you've got your two Drizziles. Yeah, big boy. Big. Yeah, I mean, the best you can manage is probably strafe into a Drizzile because I we've seen a lot of this deck. We have not seen a boss's orders so far. Your supporter slots are taken up by Corona. Xyling for a bucket, guaranteeing those waters yeah. in the discard for whenever he's able to find a melt. Only gonna take the one. Fair enough, fair enough. And then you drizzle for quick ball. You don't have a Melanie. No, I'm guess just this guaranteeing out. that Remoraid for yeah. the next turn, I guess. Not. Uh, yeah, he did discard his Octavia. Oh no, he does play Crobat. Oh. Let's go Crobat. All right, uh, gonna save him here. Potentially, if he. Now he's in a position where he crowbats. If he finds the Melanie, that's if he, that's if he literally finds, game. If, yeah. He, he, oh, he, he has to move the he needs the, rapid, he needs the scoop up net or the Tower of Waters and the Rapid Strike. But unfortunately, energy. he doesn't. Oh, he's a escape rope anyway. He's just going Ooh. for it. All right. Uh, crowbat for three here. So that's not There's a Melanie. That's not a Melanie. That's not a Melanie. That's not a Melanie. Melanie. Unfortunately. You still get to take out the one with the energy, which is a fairly solid deal. And you get to research. Yeah, no. Dude, when I saw you quick ball, the one allowed. Dude, man, I, know, I already know the... Uh, uh, stop suspension. doing that, please. Okay, it's a rubber head. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just knocks it out. Malamar. Now, here's kind of an interesting thing about this deck. Malamar is kind of like anti-setup in a way. Like, he, one of these, like, he needs, obviously, other things, but that cuts into his damage output and potentially even his ability to take a knockout here. Yeah. yeah. We see him getting another NK on Good. the bench as a backup, and here comes a great ball. He Hopefully, another basic. He he's got a Bruno, so it, he can take the Octillery. It doesn't matter because it's getting Bruno back into the deck in a moment. We'll see if he can get more of his of, um, support basics, mm -hmm. more stuff aside from his squids. How about because... even, how about, let's start with any basics so he doesn't lose to rapid. Oh, yeah. And absolutely. then we'll go from there. Can't be picky right now. You're just trying to stay in the game. All right, so Pokegear fetches supporters. Can I just go for research here? Thought he had Bruno in him. Oh, well. He also unearthed a Bruno, so. Yeah. Oh, research he, just dumping that off. I don't know octo. why. I don't know why you wouldn't just go for Bruno there. <laughs> uh, he has enough to take a knockout, but it would stop him from. No, he can level ball for Remoraid and still take a knockout with a double level ball. Play one level ball? Yeah. 
Well, if he gets, if he chooses Ramorade, though, then he has no yeah, so Inkay's next turn. Actually, maybe you want a squid. You want to get an Inkay and a Ramorade, but then you can't take the knockout. I'm also going to go back. Because we know his cards in hand. He only has two, and then two Karinas. We're just going to see him relying on that Karinas to just keep drawing him the cards yeah. he needs and not really being able to use his support Pokemon, unfortunately. But that's just what happens when you're against a deck that yeah. takes two knockouts at a time. Yeah. Right, going for Squid, going for Remoraid. He, I believe he can maybe still take the knockout, but he can't evolve his other Inkay into Melomar. Because, yeah, he's got an Inkay there. That doesn't work. Thank you. <laughs> we just need, like, a, a spritz bottle of water. Just spray them for all the illegal players. <laughs> it's like, bad. No. <laughs> if they do too much, start squirting their mats. Yeah. Has to be on like a very misty setting though to not ruin everything. Yeah, you can take a knockout here, but I would probably bench like Remoraid Ink and then take a knockout. But that also involves shuffling at all of your Karinas. Yeah. Oh, can it do oh. for five? Do you oh, wait. That's unnecessary. Does do, does somebody have the math wrong? Do we have the math wrong? No, I swear that has three points. 40, 40 we can look at it right yeah, now. Yeah, 40 times. That's 80 times of weakness. 80 times four is... Uh, we're dumb. It's 330. Oh! We're just dumb. It's 330. Man. You know, sometimes it pays to know how to read. Yeah, it's 330. That explains it. Never mind. Uh, sorry, Gabriel. <laughs> Well, that just means things are even harder now, going into the next turn with a three-card hand, yeah. which were the three All prizes three he took, meaning prizes. none were Gabriel, guarantees. can you, like, look at your hand so we can spy on it? Oh, no, I see a research. He's fine. Pretty sure that's a research. Let me get it off Teelery. That's a start. Here comes another incense, hopefully for... Hey, we don't need that. to do math. We're up here. If we could do math, we'd be over there playing. Oh, there is the shady dealings in Teleon. Yeah, that that's is gonna keep him in probably going to get him there. Yeah, get him the Melanie and the incense. He has the Octo for the Rapid Strike energy. Yeah. Yeah, he's skipping a step here, which is confusing yeah, Gabriel. Yeah. It's fair because through the chain of shady dealings, it's a lot easier to just not have to infinitely shuffle your deck. Absolutely. It wastes a lot of time to keep shuffling when you don't really need to. And you want to make sure you can get through your round and not go to time. Yeah. Because in One, a best of three two. setting, pretty frequent you go to time. Oh, yeah. We need like best of 360, I think. I mean, this is a pretty fast format. It's not like early Sun Moon where oh, every, yeah. everything went to time. Your games end in like I, four turns max. I tied like, five times at a Sun and Moon regional once. That was fun. So, uh, like, this is fine, except for the fact that you're liable to just completely explode next turn. Getting another Sobble down. Smart play, considering mm -hmm. the... He doesn't need any more backup Urshifus because yeah. one was already knocked out. Just fill up the bench with the support Pokemon. Hope to keep drawing yeah. the cards that win you the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, just get a Karina's for next turn. Hell yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, you are liable to just explode next turn because you're down. Gabriel's down to three prizes. But considering Gabriel's hand is He's got three prize to... cards that He's he had no control over. There. He's got a research in there. Yeah, we'll see if that gets in there. Gonna just go for the benched in case, okay? Oh, hi, Karina. It's not a research, it's a Bruno, I lied. Okay. Even better. <laughs> it's the same thing, pretty much. Draws one more. All right, find five, not four, five. And the key, this is just over. Gabriel will have defeated the almighty uh, water bears with... A rogue deck. We can call it. We can call it a rogue. I don't care enough to get into semantics between rogue versus like tier three oh, right now. The funny single prize squid boy. Yeah, so it's a single prize deck, and that's all we. Can. Oh, oh, you missed by a mile. Oh no. Oh no, rescue carrier gets you there. Never mind. Forgot that part. 
Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> Rapid Strike Malamar taking the 2 0 wow. victory over Rapid Strike Urshifu. Despite going second in the second game, too. I think that's just an through. example of like how ridiculous the prize swing is when you can hit a weakness like that. Yeah. Like if you're ever taking three prizes with a single prizer, you're winning that game. Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it is devastating. I guess I should clarify. Three prizes in one turn, like with one Pokemon. Now we'll see if Gabriel can keep powering through top cut with his single prize deck. For his sake, I hope Dragapult and Jolteon didn't show up. I, I was looking around the table, saw a lot of single strikes, saw a lot of Leafeon. Yeah, those are definitely the things that you'd rather be hitting with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe not Leafeon, but... I don't see why not. It's just another big V Max. Like it's it does the fire straight still in your favor if you can attack first, even if it's like slightly less. It is a big if though, and Leafeon is there's a lot of those decks that don't mind just playing Marnie a lot, and when that happens, your Malamar can definitely fall it behind. You know, Leafeon of course is a monstrously consistent deck. I think it's a it's a low attack. Yeah, with that greening cells greening guaranteeing cells, your attachment. Free, free ability to shady dealings. Hi. It's us. It's a, it is us. Should have brushed my hair today. I didn't. <laughs> oh well. No one here cares. Yeah. I probably should have put more time into it too. I meant to wake up half an hour earlier than oh, I yeah. did. I did wake up to the alarm on time, but then I blinked. Mm -hmm. And then my clock was half an hour later. Yeah, that just happens. That's why I always set one alarm for the time I want to wake up and another alarm for half an hour later. I almost didn't even come today because I just walked outside. I looked at the sky and said, it's way too beautiful of a day to be playing Pokemon. But then I decided, who am I kidding? What else am I going to do? Yeah. Let's enjoy some Pokemon. We're all nerds here. Oh, are we going into our top four match? Top four versus, I know one of them is this Landon is, Caitlin. Yeah, this is Landon versus Levi. Uh, Landon playing... Uh, another rapid strike Urshifu. Oh boy. Landing on that the is left a here. Or just play that. He's had that thing for uh, at least five years now. Yeah. It, it's always just a treat to see him pull it out. Yeah, I love those hand drops from play mats. I actually have one that I didn't bring today. A friend of mine made it way back when. And Levi is playing, as we uh, just mentioned, mm -hmm. that Leafeon deck. Nick, making sure the play mat gets into view for us. Oh, look at the Tynamos over there. We got a Levi fan in the chat here and a fan of the Mew mat. What other card games does VSB run? Uh, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. I actually entered Yu-Gi-Oh today. Uh, I went one, two, drop. Yo, nice was today the first Yu-Gi-Oh! one? I haven't it was seen the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! one, yeah. I'm so mad. Is it 30 bucks? What are Pokemon cards? You know I hate Alex when everything is. I was gonna go like Coral and Expanded. Yeah, so remember the cameras are on you. Alright, so Lennon is gonna be playing Rapid Strike. Trying to see if I can catch a pe uh, oh. peek at what Levi is playing, but... Yeah, Levi playing that Leafy. Oh, Leafy on? Okay. Yeah. Leafy? You wanna cut my deck, bro? Yeah, once, once you have a good deck. I'm not sorry. Have a good day. Well played. Well, <laughs> yes, Levi will not be starting the game off with three prizes, though, so normal land and be starting off with five. Yeah, Landon with that Melanie Foo. He has a Melanie and his Rapid Strike energy in that opening hand. Thought it was going to go down the middle again. Yep. Interesting choice. I see the 70 HP Sobble. That's admittedly something I've been Ooh. playing just because it doesn't die to as much stuff. Yeah, just it's trying a, to force an extra Zigzagoon ping yeah, an out extra of Zigzagoon, Dragon Ball. An extra quick shooting. No way. That's not a good hand. That is three Rapid Strike energy and two Melody. <laughs> That's not a good end. Uh, the power of the top deck, hopefully it pulls through. I see like a Drizzile, which I guess can bail you out turn two, but you don't just want to draw past turn one, you know? So I hit for five, so I hit 300. And what is with these Rapid Strike Urshifu's just not getting what they need on our street? This is supposed to be the consistent deck. It's, it's called Karma. <laughs> what you get for What you get for succumbing to the deck that just kills single prizers. Hey Nick! Hey Nick! 
Umbra V, grass or fighting? Grass or fighting moves, Umbra V. I'm not telling you that. It's, it's not in this matchup, we're just talking about our last round. It's not grass. It's grass? Oh. I told you it's grass. What's the, what's Umbreon the V is weak like to grass. Yes. <laughs> they cannot hear me up there, giving you guys on the stream that answer. I can understand but why really Dark is weak to grass, go. but Dark. at the Dark same time, it like really annoys me. Like, why is Houndoom weak to grass? It's not weak to bug. I don't know, man. It's not weak to bug, and it resists grass. Gameplay balance. <laughs> just if you don't want to be weak to grass when you're playing a dark type, just play Gengar V Max. Gengar V Max is the best deck in the format. Best new card to come out of Fusion Strike. I, Everybody play Gengar V Max. It's so good. I, so much better than Umbreon and Urshifu combined. Gengar V Max is cracked. I will hard disagree there, but <laughs> I, I, I think New Genesect is probably the best deck in the format. And that came out of Fusion Strike, so we're going to be on opposite sides here. Chat saying, Levi is so submissive right now. I wonder what that means. It means you need to stop reading chat out loud. I'm sorry. All right. Come on. Probably just waiting for waiting the timer for the to timer. get started. Keeping that 50 minutes yeah. time super like, important for these tournaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Levi's playmat is pretty neat, too. Like, I don't want to just knock him because Landon's is like a hand drawn one. Yeah, and Polion is cool. I wonder if he drew it himself. Probably not. Would be cool know. if he did, though. Yeah. I think he bought it on like eBay or something. Fair enough. All right, I see a capture. I don't think I don't think Levi opened a leafy on for what it's worth. Drum roll, please. Oh, what? They're slow playing the startup too. Like how? Like how do you do that? How do you do that? I don't get it. What time is it? Oh, they had a judge called Drink Star. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so funny thing about this matchup, I feel like it's just kind of <laughs> determined by the state, whichever stadium gets into play. Is it's a deck that reduces its own <laughs> retreat cost versus a deck that wants high retreat cost? Well, there's nothing really stopping the Leafeon from just constantly playing down his Galar Mines and bumping out the Tower of Waters. So mm -hmm. I'd have to say I think Leafeon is probably favored in this matchup. Yeah. But it does really come down to like if, he can, if, Le if Levi can continue to draw his Leafeon VMAX, Galar Mines, and energies under the constant yeah. onslaught of rapid flow killing Sobbles. I'm going to just... Look at look it up beforehand and figure out how much HP Leafeon has before, so we don't look like idiots this time. Fairly sure Leafeon is three thirty. Leafeon is three ten. Three ten. You were incorrect. Shoot. I knew All it right. was an odd number. You were a little off, like an entire rapid strike Ooh. thing off. Or a quick shooter. All right, cap capturing a Sobble is really never where you want to be, but it does get you there. It gets you the Leafeon on the bench, which lets you greening cells, which lets you then retreat that Sobble with mm -hmm. the energy you attach this turn and just attach another one and use that Grass Knot next turn. Yep. Really not too bad. There's also, like, a decent chance Linden just doesn't draw another basic. Okay, Levi, they got it. Okay, so they're gonna just bench Leafeon. Uh, green cells. Greening out, bro. Greening out, bro. Let's go. Greening cells, of course. And Landon, do you have a. Oh, you have a basic. Okay. This game is going. Uh, no, they are running Smash just later. Oh, I should have brought my glasses. I can't remember. Yeah. This is, this is I will be uh, staying for that. But. Man, in the time it took you to play your entire turn, Levi was still shuffling their deck. Landon did thankfully get that rapid striker she from the So this to game will last energy. longer than a turn. Always nice. How much longer though? Because your hand is not any much better just for having this. You don't have a way to the big guy. You actually do get knocked out if a Gallarmine gets stuck when without being fully evolved, because it does two forty. It gives them the out to just find a it, it's research. one more turn to heart of the cards, pretty much. You get your Sobbles down a turn late, but 
getting a supporter puts you basically where you want to be anyway. Puts you in this game at all. Sure, man. I was scared of Zam, man. Zam is too I was scared of... Oh, evil oh, incense? Yep. You don't, that's the thing. I don't know. I, I'm, I feel like this is going to be a quick game one. <laughs> yeah. Being <laughs> not really able to get the switch into and get the bonus damage on the Gale Thrust is probably going to be rough. Or but his hand, who knows, Landon's who knows hand is Landon still won. two Melanies yeah. and two yeah. Rapid Strike right energies. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully <laughs> from Landon, probably something like a Marnie or a Research. Anything. And then just get into a yeah, VMAX. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess you can use DP Quick Ball, even though it's functionally a Great Ball. <laughs> yeah. That's me. It, it always confuses me why they errata things like the Quick Ball, yeah. but they don't errata the old Rainbow <laughs> Energy and just ban it instead. Yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna grass knock or knock out. It's funny, because yeah. you know what originally had Great Ball's effect? Master Ball. Oh, great Ball used to be a quick ball. I'm dead, let's go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Landon scoops it up. Yeah, yeah that, that's unfortunate. Game two, game two. These rapid strike Urshifus just hand. not getting <laughs> what they need to play properly in these top cut matches, oh, unfortunately. Oh, uh, no, it is a best of three. We got... Hopefully something a little better for Landon, but if you're Levi, uh, you're pretty pleased with that. I mean, there's always a part of you that's like a little upset, but that you didn't get a good game. But hey, yeah. you won that game time for the in record time. <laughs> yeah, it's really just part of Pokemon. There's always going to be some duds. Sometimes you break. Sometimes you draw three Rapid Strike Energy and two Melanie. Well, right, this hand is already having looking more a promising. much better hand already. Alright, let's do it. Oh, Alright, and <laughs> Subble again. This looks very familiar. Landon having a level ball to level? get probably yeah. a Sobble down this turn. Yeah. Perfect. Way better than the last game. He's even got a supporter that's not Melanie. Yeah. Barney. What a twist. Here comes that sad boy. Oh god. Yeah. What the I do I'm appreciate that every Sobble art just the... nails Sobble. Like even Levi's art. Look at how surprised Maybe. that Sobble looks. Uh, that Sobble has seen some stuff. <laughs> that Sobble's got a thousand yard stare oh, going on. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, just passing on that. No basic rapid strike or Shifu is kinda lame, it delays you by a turn. Oh, not finding that rapid, Pass. that basic. <laughs> oh, but oh. Levi just passes with a Galar mine. Levi's turn to break. <laughs> if Levi wanted, they could scoop up that and end it all right now. I don't think that's quite the play you want to make, but it would be quite funny. Oh, Landon's so still go. not having or that. We're just going to have to keep calling, I think. You don't want a Marnie like here because, uh, <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. want a Marnie here when your opponent's got a hand that bad. Yeah, absolutely. Landon getting a full bench now. That's Not another scoop up net. But hey, there's a Drizzile. Yeah, Drizzile gonna probably just get us a... Oh, a Marnie. Yep. Gets you out of it. Yeah, that's an ugly, ugly hand. There is. I don't know, I, that card was on the tape. You, like, you put the card down, you took your hand off of it. But Landon's gonna walk it back. Filthy. Phil Interesting Phil to see some people still in Phoebe. I guess it's for, I think, specifically Glaceon <laughs> at this point. Uh, uh, it's for, um... Like, Decids and Glaceon are not common decks, so... Well, I think, um... Okay. Some people have been seeing a little bit of... Uh, Levi should not Levi, have evolved that Levi, get the Drizzile back. Why do people they, keep double they didn't even They didn't even search it. They just put it down right away. Levi. Levi. <laughs> Yeah, they uh, uh, scoop scoop up the Drizzile, essentially to retreat it. Yeah. And then should him. not have put the Drizzile back down with yeah. the Sobble. Yep. This is, this is okay. Fun. Okay, they caught she, it. They got it. But yeah, just gonna shuffle it back in. Yeah. Drizzile. Yep. 
shady dealings. Yep. All right, so now we've got uh, two big boys, two rapid strikes. We might be able to actually get a rapid pull if you can move the Sovel. Sovel, of course, currently sitting at three retreat right now. Kind of a problem. Yeah, nothing the Tower of Waters can't fix. True enough. Evo and Sense for Drizzile for, oh no, just artillery. You could literally just chain Drizziles. Yeah, Drizzile chaining is like, I don't know good. why they don't do this more. Literally, just get a Drizzile, get a Drizzile, get a Drizzile, get an artillery. Bam. You're so much closer to like quick shooting, and you also have access to the better. Well, I think for the most part, um, you don't actually need the quick shootings out that early, and you'd rather leave the Sobbles open to evolve so then you can continue to just draw throughout the whole game and not just kind of be restricted to the... Yes, so. Shady dealings in the early turns. Anyway, do we find an energy? Yep. Now we just need to get a water in the discard and play yep. a Melanie. Okay, now we're now we're chaining Drizziles. Now we're in business. What are we not for next turn? Did you draw them on me? No, I had them running out of range. I just didn't play it because he drew Pooper. So it was just kind of a detour, pretty much. <laughs> Stopped at the Octillery because he had the rest of the family. Searching and probably using that Gale Thrust instead. Yeah. I guess just yeah, deciding. Gale for oh, Gale not, no? Oh, did, did Landon play the board this turn already? I don't he Marnied at the start. Ah. Uh, right. So hitting that Leafy on for 150. Actually. Yeah, this is a situation where the quick shooting might be pretty relevant because, mm -hmm. yeah, with a one, one quick, with one more one quick shooting and you could just scale fast. You don't need to yeah. worry. Do not full German. It actually feels like there's a little bit of shout out to the DP energy <laughs> search too. That's that rocks. I love Levi's choice in the cards they are running. <laughs> what I'd really love to see out of land in here would be to um, we exchange draws. Figure out some way to get that Leafy on on the bench. And then benefit from the uh, telescopic sight to then use. Uh, not gonna bump. Gale, not gonna use, bump with the Galar mine. Interesting. Yeah, then use rapid flow, knock out the damage leafy on from the bench, and get some extra damage put somewhere else. That's what I'd like to see. I'm sure that's what Landon would like to see too. We don't have a Vmax. We're still short of Vmax. Oh. Uh, yeah, it just has to go for another Sobble. Um, that's that's a really unfortunate. You're giving up two yeah. prizes here. Oh, I, no. I would have at least maybe played the Galar Mine down to try and, bas again, basically stay better at it. Now this gives Landon an easy out to getting a pretty yeah. devastating rapid flow. With a telescopic sight, that would enable Landon to set up the bench leafy on for the two shot however yeah. levi would be able to play around the next turn with a max leaf since mm -hmm. it currently has two energy he'd be, er, it can they heal. would be it able to that. get a third energy down for the max leaf next turn you can yeah that's a situation i would not have been aware of actually so that, yeah, that's heads up I, I hope levi would yeah that max it. that max leaf can do some pretty wacky things when it comes out yeah there's the site yeah, has to attach there. Doesn't have any energy <laughs> on, the, on the bench one. There's no the rapid yeah. strike energy, so the bench no, one can't attack. How much yeah, HP is cool. Cool. So it's just going to rapid flow. Probably just kill two Sobbles to take. Uh, can you even ask Oracle Oracle Pax moves? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why do you know Stringham on the Yeah. Actually, no. I don't know, know why I didn't put the, 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 the site on the bench. I would have yeah. put that on after. Uh, but oh well. well. I'm sure he has his reasons. Yeah, you can take a three prize turn here. Just hit the active leafy on and then pick a Sobble. Yeah. Yeah, that's one way to do it. I'll rapid flow knock out active hit bench leafy on. 150, right? Although, hitting, hitting the leafy on is pretty solid, too. Yeah. Now, it does force a max leaf, which would be very funny to see, but needs some sort of anything. Okay, Galar Mine. There, that's a start. I'm not sure if the numbers Double even ball. matter too much for Max Leaf now because yeah. because of the fact that he uh, didn't get the 
extra damage from the site, he won't be able to two shot the Leafy on anyway. Yeah, well, Most likely. I might be wrong. 120, that. 150, 270. It would take two quick shooter pings and uh, Gale for us to knock out a Leafy on before Max Leaf. the VMAX come down. And Marnie. Yeah, good Marnie, good Marnie. Never let your opponent play the game. Always give him a four-card hand. Yeah. That's how you win. That's a pretty oh. ugly four-card hand. Uh, no energy to Max Leaf, so we will just be seeing the... Drass not. Yeah. Like you can, now you can scoop up net the Drizzile to kind of do whatever. You've got two other Sobbles you can play with. Remind me of other. Rapid Striker who VMAX is the trick card. It has two. two. So it's yeah, currently so at VMAX. four, so a 240 Last damage hit. Yeah. Yep. You know, yeah. Levi's in a really good spot. We know Landon's hand is terrible. Yeah, that Marnie. Several quick falls and a Passivian. That's a bucket. Is that a bucket? It is a bucket. You can, uh. Nope, can't even attack Patricia. <laughs> Yeah, no, Levi's in a great spot again. They've got the scoop-up net to just put the Drizzle back to hand, get whatever they need. They've got the supporter. And Landon, I think, is just hoping. You've got Rapid Strike Search. You can... Yep. Um, Karina? Okay. Oh, no, going to get a Quick Shooter. What's your plan here? I guess at this point your your goal might be to set up a four prize turn with like you ping the leafy on enough so you can rapid flow and then also kill a sobble. Yeah, I and could that definitely would win see, you the game. I could. I definitely wouldn't hate seeing um, that tower of waters come down. Mm -hmm. See the bucket come down. Just attach an energy to the Bench to the cleaner shifu and then. Yeah. You're leaving a single prizer active, so then yeah. uh, Levi would be forced to find a boss to be able to take a Three significant prizes. knockout. Otherwise, it's just a Drizzile. It doesn't really affect shame, Landon though, too much. If Landon had the ability to knock out Leafy on, Landon would probably just win the game on the spot. Yeah. Okay. There's that water going down on the bench Dershifu. And just passing with the... Big one active. That's a that's, bit of an odd choice. That's very risky. Maybe just not wanting to run out of Tower of Waters it, because you. this deck does play a very limited number. Yeah, of whereas Leafeon requires yeah, Galar Mine. It's going to be playing for Galar Mine. Yeah. Just yeah so knowing you're going to lose the Stadium War if you try to fight it like that, trying to mm -hmm. take it a bit I'm not slower. against that. Like, and it took a second to think about, but I'm not against that. Yeah. We're going to see... Probably the Max Leaf this turn, as Levi attaches a Capture Energy to that Leafeon. Putting the Leafeon at only 90 damage after that happens, if it yeah. is, if that is what Levi chooses to do, making it nearly impossible for Landon to get the knockout next turn on. Yeah, you would need to do 220 damage in one turn, which is... Not okay. really possible. <laughs> That's a Vaporeon V. That would be a... Uh, Boss, Bench, Passimian, Double Quick Shooting. Okay, so legit question. What is Vaporeon V doing in this deck? What does it do? Um, I think it's essentially meant to be uh, an alternate weakness attacker for Shadow Rider and Dragapult. Um, I believe the attack is for Water, Colorless, Colorless. It's 100 plus 100 more if there's any more uh, damage counters yeah. on the target already. Might be Water, Water, Colorless. It's Water, Colorless, Colorless. Otherwise, you're absolutely correct. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, it's arguably not really optimal because you would hypothetically be only really winning that matchup if you're going to be like doing the double rapid flow on the bench for the full 180 on mm -hmm. each target. But um, go it's pretty yeah. arguable. You could yeah. see it work out. But definitely uh, it's defi being, definitely not working out here. Yeah, no. Yep. Only being run as a 1-1 one, one probably. So Evo had sense. Now I think you just get like the big Inceleon. Yeah. Quick shooter. 
That energy can't be on Drizzile. That is correct. That energy cannot be on Drizzile. Drizzile is not a rapid strike. I think they did something weird with the special energies. Uh, let me see here to confirm. I'm pretty sure that's not attachable, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rapid Strike is it, an exception here. Oh. Because uh, I know a lot of I know a lot of the type special energies that they've been making now Can just only, only get just only get the ba the bonus effect when I attach the Pokemon of their type. But yeah, the rapid and single strike energies can only be attached to their respective Pokemon. I think Fusion's the same way. And a Drizzile, uh, I can understand this I can understand this goof a bit because the entire rest of the line is rapid strike. I just gotta play the Rapid Strike Drizzile instead. Yeah, you know. Uh, it does like one for 30, I think. Yeah, who needs shady dealings? All right, gonna go for double big incel. That's an extra 40 damage, so. Puts you up to 130 on a Leafeon. Uh, it doesn't count, right? Because you're... Oh, yeah, you yeah, also yeah. can't retreat because the Galar <laughs> mines up. <laughs> so... <laughs> the energy should also not be yeah. attached to the Drizzile yeah, anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It has to be, yeah it's, it's gone. Okay, they caught it. Oh, they caught it. Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Didn't matter because there was a scoop up net. Didn't largely matter anyways. Yeah, just hit for 150. Like you're, you're really just trying to like set up a four price for him. That's the goal. Oh, going for the rapid flow. Never mind. Gonna just take out the Drizzile. So take 120. It's yeah. You take 160 total from the quick shooting zone. Okay. So you had 90 on you plus. It's so weird seeing five dice on something and it not being knocked out. 60, 120, 160, 200, 250 on the leafy one. I can't count that high. So I'm at 120, 170. 60, you have 70 HP. 60 HP left? 60 HP? Yeah. Yeah, so 60 HP left. Uh, Meaning a rapid flow next turn would yeah. knock it out. Yeah, this is a tough spot for Levi now because yeah. they have no ability to Max, take their last three prizes in one turn. Max Leaf can't save them, and I don't think there's any way to really one-shot this yeah. Rapid Strike. Healing isn't going to matter. Uh, you play down a second Galar Mine, and then you just kind of pretend that it can stack. Yeah. I've always wanted to try playing like that with no restriction <laughs> on the amount of stadiums you put in play. I'd love to have Skyfield and Broken or Time Sky Space Field. at the same time. Just imagine for Skyfield and you need like an entire bench to play your bench. And that one wouldn't work like that because it, it, it just sets your bench to eight. It doesn't increase yeah, the that's, that's lame. Unfortunately. And level ball for Drizzile for probably level ball for Drizzile for... Level ball for Drizzle, for level ball for Drizzle, for level ball for Drizzle, for quick ball Drizzle chaining is the optimal way to play this game. You want yeah. to get your quick shootings out as soon as humanly possible. That's a joke. You only really do that when you play Weezing. Mm -hmm. Save your Sobbles. Let them get your trainers late game. Yeah, I think it depends on like how integral quick shooting is to your strategy. Like I Something like a Jolteon is going to want to cheat. We're, we're seeing it anyways. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Levi taking my advice. And now you probably just get a boss, yeah. Uh, knock out. Do you even knock out Crobat? I feel like at this point you just kind of try and stall. But you can't stall I, I because mean, there's a... Center lady, what the... What? That's a card I haven't seen in 190 years. damage on the Leafeon. 160. Uh, this still dies to Quick Shooter and uh, Gale Frost. Yeah, yeah but the okay. thing is, how is Landon going to Gale Thrust it? Because yeah. you need to retreat to the bench first. Uh, he's got at least one Trisile. I he's can't count. Now. 160. So that's it's 150 160. remaining. Yeah. Okay, double quick shooting and the uh, rapid flow is Does enough. it. Single quick shooting and a Gale Thrust does it. 
Yeah, it, it, it would be basically impossible to get the... I can go the, the Tower of Waters, thrust, that's part the, of it. You'd have, you'd have to get Tower... If you have an energy, you get the Tower, you'd you have retreat, to get you tower resolve, boss, first. Tower um, escape. Yeah. Tower, escape, or boss. Now hear me out. You bench the tower, you retreat into the sobble, you drizzle for a scoop up net, you have the fighting energy, you gale for us. Oh yeah, I forgot scoop up net exists. Yeah, we know we know Landon's playing it, although he might be out, I'm not sure. We know he has a drizzle in hand because he scoop up netted last turn. Oh. Oh never mind, we're just going for this. Melanie. Yeah. Speed. There we go. Yeah. Double click now we are shooter. going on yeah. to game three. Game three. Yeah. All right. Levi. Nobody brick this time, please. No, first nobody brick on the opener, please. We saw Levi come come back from a really unfortunate early game. We're going to game three, yeah. So, I don't know. Going first with Leafy on is like so 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 insane though it's insane for every deck but especially leafy one because you get that free extra energy it's cracked i thought it was not as bad as i thought it was i need i needed 10 more hp though yeah like straight up i just needed 10 more i'm like i i did 162 there oh yeah 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 he's double quick shooting yeah all right i wonder how our i wonder how our friend on the squids is doing actually was just dead yeah it's tough because you can't look at anything we'll just text him I let, I let my friend take my backpack to borrow my old format decks. Oh, but yeah? I left my banana and my water bottle in there, and Fair. I want my banana now. I'm hungry. Fair enough. Got to ask. 2010 format? Or what else? Uh, I had DP block and 2018 in there. Okay. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of 2010, so. Yeah. I, li I like DP block better. I think it's a lot more fun without DC being around. Makes Gardevoir rely on upper energy and the Lux Chomp just has no way to yeah. pop a Dragon but Rush with no right. energy in play initially. You see, I play Gardevoir. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Levi went first and is getting down these Sobbles. Yeah. Now they've got, I believe they have an energy in hand. Green sauce? Oh no, just gonna graining cells. Still good start. This still sets up a turn two, you know? Alright, uh, Malamar's game is still going. Malamar is still going, but I can't oh, tell wow. much besides that. Alright, gonna go for the bucket. Gonna get the two. He probably just keep calling here eventually, but hopefully yeah, the hand isn't so bad that keep calling is your only turn one play. Actually, keep calling is kind of cracks with this deck because they, especially if you're able to use it with the water energy. Oh, gonna force on a solve. That, like that means that. Oh, but he's putting the tower down. Yeah. It's oh, okay. It's not the rapid strike solve. It's not the rapid strike solve. So. The tower actually does not benefit Levi in the slightest, and now we keep calling. Yeah, keep calling, getting the Remoraid, those Sobbles, and... And just a bunch of Sobbles. Just a bunch of Sobbles, Remoraid, and Mesh, were there already. I think you're kind of anticipating the Sobble getting knocked out, so... Yeah, absolutely. So you just have the water and the discard for Melanie the next turn, mm -hmm. and then yeah, you just pop off. And that also is why he probably got the third Sobble instead of another Urshifu, because... Alright, here's Leafeon. Big, the big Leafeon has arrived. Heck yeah, that's a Marnie. This should probably get us to at least a knockout on uh, on the Sobble, if they can move their own Sobble. Oh no? Oh no? The question is, do you even want to hit into a Sobble, though? Because then you're just letting your Leafeon take the hit mm -hmm. from an Urshifu. Yeah. And then... It, it doesn't matter because yeah. Levi has no way to move that Sobble. Cracked! Oh, that that is not a basic. <laughs> no, that's too broken, bro. <laughs> and then, uh. We're in a green cell. Okay. 
And it just kind of has to pass turn there. One situation in which playing in the other Sovel may have mattered, but again, like you said, hitting into a Sovel might not have been the ideal anyways. Yeah, you, yeah, you probably, like, it's it's one prize against VMAXs. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to be able to just take the VMAX knockouts here. Just putting the your Leafy on in danger, like, for a single prize, like, it yeah, doesn't we're, really We're, we're doing the chain. Out. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> It's just such a good deck thinning. Like, it takes four cards out of your deck. Or in this case, just two, because it's just going to go to Melanie on the second one. Yeah. So the thing is, I, I do like the idea of not promoting Leafeon. Obviously, it was kind of forced here. However, if a Rapid Flow comes out, you're in trouble, because that just hits the two Leafeons. Oh, yeah. Um, I, that's a Drizzile. I think we can get an Octillery and Landon just go from there. not having the space for the Passimian. Honestly, quite unfortunate. I would love to see a scoop up net come out of him. Oh, but he just doesn't get the attack yeah. off anyway. All right. All right, another VMAX is here. You can energy search for an energy to retreat the solvent, but yeah. you're in a situation where you need a boss and you yeah, also need a way to draw into uh, the Galar mine. Two less. Two less. Yeah, You've got the boss, soon. but got boss, center energy, energy search, center lady, energy search, and if if One card I didn't quite catch. Uh, basically, Fion. Yeah, it would have been kind of cool to see if uh, Levi could have pulled together the big boss combo and yeah. just knock out that Urchifu on the bench right now, but, but that's not happening. No, you are at best knocking out a Sobble, and you might have to do it just because it's an extra card you can see in your hand. Like, that is not a good hand. You've got two supporters that are not consistency supporters, a no. thing you probably don't want to bench. Yeah, like, it does get to the point where... You can't let the Urshifu just continue to set up. You need to take away from their setup, too. Mm -hmm. And just pass it back. And uh, again, same position. If we see if we see a Rapid Flow, Here comes we're the seeing shady a Rapid dealing. Flow. Yeah, that's a Remorade over there. So you can Shady Dealings for the Octillery, which gets you pretty much everything you need. Okay, Scoop Up Net Evo Incense. Oh, Scoop Up Net Evo Incense, so yeah. Even gonna save the Sovel, or gonna save the Incel, I guess, because now you get a Shading Dealings again. That's fair. Getting a Hit five backup up. Urshifu, probably. Yeah. Or, yep, yeah, getting yeah. backup Urshifu. Not ba taking the Passimian. Passimian's neat, but I do think backup Urshifu is probably more important. Yeah, it's, it's definitely more important. It's just unfortunate there's not room for both right now. Mm -hmm. I, again, I'd still love to see Landon get a scoop up net here and oh, put yeah. the Passimian down. Just to get that 180 hit on both, guarantee the two shot. Uh, not that it'll happen, but I would just love to see Landon take a six prize card. <laughs> Come on, yeah. That would be really funny. So many game actions? Duh. What is this, XY? You know what I'm Yeah, it gets the big boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, gets yeah. the rapid strike energy with the octillery. Come on, come on, bro. Let's see what happens. Bring, bring that back. Yeah, benching the site, that's 150 <laughs> times two. So you're pretty much just hoping, like, if you want to take the six prize turn, you would need two quick shooters. Plus, oh, this, the, plus the ability to do this again next turn. Shooting this one, yeah. There's a quick shooter. The yeah. This does set 150. this does set up a six. No, it does. It does set up a six prize turn next turn actually. Assuming a max leaf does not disrupt too mm -hmm. much. Levi needs to draw something. This is their last turn potentially. That's a Marnie. That's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. That at least gets you somewhere. It doesn't solve the immediate problem of I died to rapid flow next turn, but it does make it at least gets you like a little bit closer. I see boss. I see rapid strike energy. There's the mine. There's okay. Isle. There we go, that'll get an out to get into the Leafeon with the energies. Scoop up that into another Drizzile, and then just go ham. Yeah, Max Leaf would be like, Max, Max Leaf is literally life-saving here. Yeah. There's not much this you can do about the other Leafeon, but put, Landon, puts the Sovel in defense mode. Landon does not have another... Oh, that's, that's actually kind of choice. 
Landon does not have another energy ready for a Nurshifu, so he wouldn't be able to get a Rabbit Flow next hey. turn and play boss in the same turn. Geki, CP, so. thank you for writing with a party of three. I'll do 170, heal 30. Yep. How much defense points do you think Asopel has? Uh, I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't know. Okay, never mind. Maybe, hopefully someone in chat will engage me, but oh well. There we go. Yep. All right, so in order to kill, you need <laughs> Melanie's a start. Melanie, oh. Rapid Strike oh. Energy. Oh, wait a Hold on. Uh, 500 defense points, points max. Yeah, I know. Uh, a Rapid Flow could absolutely get the knockout here. Yeah. And I yep. think that's actually not a terrible plan here. Yeah, I think you just at this point knock out the bench. Yeah, you, or, um, if, yeah, Landon could definitely just get a quick shooting on the active, and then that yeah. lets... Gale Thrust take the knockout. He's not in any danger of losing the game next turn, and no. uh, the turn after that, you can easily kill the second Leafy on. So yeah, I actually think Landon's in a pretty yeah. good spot to just get through this with mm -hmm. rapid with uh, Gale Thrust. Yeah. Yep. In the bucket, then in that deck out. Mm -hmm. yep. right. Yo, Melamar made top two. That's always fun to see. Got to got to root for the single prizes. Got to root for the underdogs, you know, the common folk, or I guess yes, in Malamar's case, the the rare folk. The inkes are the common folk. I'll put shooting one to each, and then rapid flow one to each. Yeah, just gonna hit. Yes. Figure out quick shooter math, and then. Landon going for that six prize turn. That would be yeah. really nice to see on the stream. Hopefully he can hit it. It's next turn. I don't even think a max leap is saving you here. Absolutely not. But it, this all depends now on if Landon is able to get the Melanie. He does have the Octo to easily get the Rabbit Strike energy, but the Melanie might be a bit harder considering he has no more Sobbles left. Yeah, you don't even... Like with this amount of damage, you... Quick shooting the bench and then just Gale Thrust. Are those how Yeah, that could work. The, the, the bench Leafeon is at 290. One quick shooting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, active one is at 60, 120, 180, 230, 280. Minus 30 from the inevitable Max Leaf. So yeah, you just Rapid Strike search for either the Stadium or the Rapid Strike Energy, whatever you don't have, unless you've got like a scoop up net. Quick shooting the bench, take a knockout, and then you just win. Yeah, yeah so it looks like, I'm pretty bad. looks like that's probably what's going to happen unless Levi can surprise us with something spicy. This is where you reveal Pokemon Center Lady to force Landon to oh, have. I it. forgot that card existed again. If they have Pokemon Center Lady, they're not dead next turn. But this is a very deep hole for Levi, unfortunately. The Center Lady on the bench to Leafeon could actually be pretty good. Yeah. And there it is. Let's see if they choose to heal the bench one. Scoop on that as well. I think healing the bench one is probably optimal because then, um, mm -hmm. then if Landon is able to do some quick shooting stuff to knock out the actives, see if I can just promote a yeah, solo yeah, and there we go. force a boss. <laughs> that that forces a rapid flow to take the six prize turn. Landon wants the six prize in turn. You can tell. You can oh, see yeah, it in his face. He's going for the swag. Why not, right? All right. Let's see it. Obviously, the ability to just rapid flow takes the six prize turn. Do we, do we see the Melanie? That's yeah, all we want. Let's see. No, one tone I whiff was really bad. Incel, there that'll it do is. it. That's, that's game. Melanie, yeah, that's you have a rapid strike energy to the left. You just, yeah. Wow, six prizes in one turn. That's a rare sight. That's a great way to end yeah. that set on game three. I haven't seen that since the days of uh, the old Dusknor from Boundaries Cross. Those were actually some pretty cool games, though. Yeah. It was a nice one to watch. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone watching enjoyed that, because I sure did. I like watching cool things happen like that. Yeah. We saw the strength and weakness of Leafeon as a deck there. Yeah, bro. So now we just got one game left, and I guess it will be... Rapid Strike versus Malamar again. Oh, 
Let's see if Landon can oh my come God. through where oh, Jake fell oh short. Oh my God, the Vaporeon's relevant because oh, yeah. Malamar, the Malamar deck isn't playing bosses, as far as we can tell. The Vaporeon's actually relevant. Yeah, um, the Malamar can still <laughs> hypothetically knock out the Vaporeon pretty easily. Let's see. Arguably easier. I'm since just going to look up there. No, since. Um, Here's your arts. Yeah, I lost my train of thought. Okay. Since since the Vaporeon isn't picking on your support Pokemon yeah. and your benched uh, mm -hmm. Inkays, it's arguably easier to kill the Vaporeon than an Urshifu. No, yeah. But we'll see what we'll ends see. up happening. Uh, Vaporeon before has 320 HP, so 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, 320. You need 8 to clean hit a Vaporeon. Congratulations to Levi for getting here, though. Getting fourth, top four is good. Top four is good. Top four is very solid. Yeah. Everyone in this top cut uh, was able to fight through five Swiss rounds and get a pretty positive record. Mm -hmm. Good job for on all of them. And, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see if the I, I want, rapid strike now, Mark. Like I'm trying not to be biased, <laughs> but I want to see the Swiss win. Uh, you always got to support, you know, the underdogs, the rogue decks, the single prize decks. That's important because uh, V maxes are kind of dumb. I mean, I, I'm pretty good friends with uh, both of the these rapid strike Urshifu players, so my personal bias is hoping to see my friends win. Understandable. But, you know, I, I don't know many people here. I haven't actually played in a Pokemon event in about five years, so. But I'd still love to see some funny rogue decks come out. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome back, Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel and Landon back on the stream, ready to show us that they are our finalists here, mm -hmm. our top two players in this room of the day. Yeah, this is where we find out if Gabriel is a squid or just a kid. Landon was actually the winner of the first uh, uh, Pokemon tournament that Let's we go, had here. Let's see if he can pull the two-time champion. This is the sounds of mass destruction ring out in the background. It's always so depressing when you're just kind of hanging around at the venue of an event and then you just are there for the very end of it and you see everything come down. Yeah. Like, uh, we get to see the curtain fall, you know? What regional was I at? When I, I just watched them take down this poster with all the tapus. I think that was Portland. And I just felt my heart get taken down a little bit. It's like, wow, this was a great time, but it's over now. Yeah. Time to go on the road, go home, and go back to school. No more school for me, though. Let's go. Assuming. All right. Five. Don't know who's going first, but we know it's a five. All right. Salvo Remorado. Oh, going to set the Pacimian, I think. It was pretty quick. It was some sleight of hand. Uh, Melee will be streamed. It will be streamed on probably Advanced Street Battle 2 or the gaming stadium. I forget which one it actually is. One of the two. Okay, not saying with the Simeon. My brain was just playing tricks on me. Simeon staying in that hand mm -hmm. because it will do literally it's nothing. Kind this of game. irrelevant here. Not gonna lie. Yeah. No. No V's to snipe on the bench. So that nothing. throwing coach is throwing a bench spot. Yeah. Put it down. At no point. Like that's the thing with the single prize decks is it's moved to literally play none. Like and, you can't even play Crobat. And Gabriel gets to go first in this matchup again. That's massive. Like. Absolutely. It, every format going first is good, but this one it feels like you need to win the opening die roll. Yeah. Because manual attachment is just so important in this format. It's all about like these efficient attackers that take like two energy. All you really do is manual attach and evolve for a couple turns. And if you miss something and your opponent doesn't, not much you can do about it. Mm -hmm. Which makes commentating this format feel very weird because we're basically just 
describing everything exactly as it hits the board. We're more like mm -hmm. describe video than okay. giving actual feedback, but it's okay. okay. We're doing our best. Again, I, I don't play this game very much. Yeah. I've gotten back into it like, within the past few weeks, so. Yeah. This is good research for me to be able to sit here and see how these good decks and Malamar operate. How much does it cost to make a meta Pokemon deck? Um, this includes uh, the Drizziles. Um, the Drizziles and Inteleons are probably actually the most expensive staples. Mm -hmm. All the train, all of like the staple trainers, oh, and Capture Energy, Drizzile, Inteleon, and Capture Energy are like mm -hmm. the only really expensive core staples. The trainer cards are all super cheap. All of the, all of the single prize Pokemon yeah. that are not. Uh, the Drizzile and Inteleon are super cheap. Well, you're going to run into issues. It's trying to get your hands on your VMAX lines. Yeah. Because all of those are like 6 to $10 per piece. And then you have to get a 4-3 line. Yeah. So you're looking to drop like 50 to 60 bucks to build a new deck if you get yeah. bored with your old one. Which is... Which is honestly a big part of why I'm kind of stepping out of competing super hard. Because it's I don't want to have to drop $50 every time I want to play something different. I come from Yu-Gi-Oh, so uh, give me a <laughs> second here. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. A.A. Zeus Price. You just go to TCG Player, pull out the card that I would need three of for my deck. Uh, this one card is currently about 30 to $40 that I need three of. See, that's like, <laughs> back, in, back in the day when we had things like our Shamans and our yeah. Tapu Leles. I I or way back Shaman before my it. time, things like Luxrays. Oh, yeah. You know, there, were always, there, was, there was always the occasional super expensive piece, like the $50, $60 chase card for competitors. But mm -hmm. It's weird when the chase cards are the attackers. Yeah, it's never been anything no like... Also, we're oh, in a we're, we're the cheap ones. Yeah, we're in a shortage right now because those darn scalpers and their Netflix shows and their Logan Pauls. So, uh, looks like it is Gabriel's second turn here. Yeah, he has the energy on the active Malamar and two Inks on the bench. Can knock out the Sobble. And again, you're not playing but, boss, so Landon is free to set up whatever he wants on the bench. Yeah, but unfortunately for Gabriel, it seems. Like, there is not any support Pokemon hitting that bench. You know. Just taking one prize, shuffling two of those Rapid Strike cards from hand into deck. Yeah, like, Pokemon's not inexpensive, but compared to the other two big ones, it is incredibly cheap. Um, that's... Gabriel gets a level ball off the prizes. Pretty good. Yeah, he... pretty good. It can get him there. Uh, let's see if Landon can do the funny Melanie stuff. Yeah. He has Sobbles and he has a Venge Tremoraid. So Seems pretty easy, for... actually. And there's a Water in that discard pile, which yeah, is not something for... we were seeing before. With that hand... Trizile for Melanie, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Melanie hoped to hit some sort of piece. Or maybe even you Trizile for the Trizile for the Melanie, so you have a higher chance of hitting it because there's less cards in your deck. Okay, so that's fair, too. This goes for Octillery. Oh, he can Raihan! Raihan! Let's go, Raihan! Yeah, took a prize last turn. It's, it's just any card, yeah. And my favorite part about Raihan is because of the way it's worded, you can't play it unless you... You can't do get the computer search effect unless you can attach an energy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy like that. It's, it's a nice example of wording a card so it doesn't get broken, because imagine if it was just like, here's a comp search. Well, I know I mean, we've had we that had before that, with yeah. Twins and Teammates, but those cards were broken. I mean, I actually thought Teammates was one of the cool, mm. was one of the cooler cards. That's one of the ones oh, that yeah. I want them to reprint eventually. Yeah, I think but, it's yeah. I think it's fine until it enables Control to be too good, which is why I don't play Expanded. Yeah. I think Control has other issues that make it too broken. Yeah. No, I'm glad Control is like an online thing. Because in real in reality, you will hit the timer every time with control. We've seen it make its exceptions, but yeah, it depends. Uh, you definitely have to be 
very intelligent about playing around the clock, and you often have to win game one. Oh, yeah. If you can't make it past game one, then you usually just end up tying, unfortunately. But, Speaking yeah. of control, way back during Sable Eye Garbador format, I played Landon on that deck three weeks in a row at Three Cities. <laughs> yeah, and I Landon, lost every time. It was awful. Landon absolutely loves Sable Garb. I've played against him with it while well, he was on it numerous times, too. Always very good at it. Yeah, and just Landon knock out gets the that case. rapid flow. I like this. Unfortunately, there's a rescue carrier in hand. <laughs> <laughs> but again, we're in a position where Malamar can't swing for the fences because Malamar needs to not die. Yeah, Malamar is uh, always going to prioritize having bench Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, like, cool, you can knock out a Malamar here, but that doesn't... I guess it... There's a situation in which it's maybe worth it because you know you can't get hit by a VMAX this turn if you knock out this one, but it's always worth it to just get set up again, you know? Play mid-range. Don't go for broke every game. Yeah, yeah level ball probably for Remorade here. Or another in K, that works too. Just gonna get all four of the gang here. Yeah, you definitely just need to prioritize the in Ks, because if you don't have one going into your opponent's next turn, you just can't attack. Yep. You can you can Corinna for four here. Can't get rid of the other rescue carrier, but you can get rid of the rest of your hand. Or you're just gonna go for broke here. That works too. Because you have an extra turn. Oh, yeah, because Landon didn't have a bench Durshifu. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice that. Oh, no, I was okay. thinking about that, but I was thinking, surely it's better to just not, right? Oh. But alas. Oh, yeah, now Gabriel probably just wins this pretty easily. Yeah. It all depends on if Gabriel... The only scenario in which Gabriel loses this at this point is not being able to find a basic. Yeah. But there's a Fog Crystal in that hand, so... for the Melanie Quick Ball, mm -hmm. probably Quick Balling for Inertiafu. Yeah, just get that Simeon out of here. It's not helpful. Getting rid of the monkey. I almost wonder if it's better to go for Vaporeon, though. Like, I know you can't take the Bombastic turns, but you're also... You force them to have, like, less of a chance, so you can set up behind a Vaporeon, you know? I think, you, I think is, you need to be rapid flowing or you don't take your prizes fast enough. Yeah. Melanie to Melanie is shame. Yeah, I'm gonna just ping. Force a... Wait, that's, oh! that's game, that's game, that's game! I forgot, <laughs> that it had, I forgot you could attack with that. I, did, I, thought, <laughs> I thought that attack only did like 50, what? Let me go read the card. Nobody does this, give me a second. Well, I guess we will see a game two here with Gabriel getting to the side. Yeah. So in that Who situation, it was better to maybe bench an Inke. Or multiple. Yeah. Okay, let me go find out what that attack does. I think I think it's just flat damage. I guess it's 100. I wasn't sure if it was 50 or 100, but yeah, I totally forgot about that until... It's it's a flat 150. The quick shooting was just for style. 150? I'm assuming this was the card. Yeah, yep, that's the one. There's two, but the other one's bad, so... Does 90 and then... Uh, this... Uh, every, every Pokemon event that has a top cut ends at single elimination, so... Double limb is not a thing in Pokemon. Could you imagine how long that would take? And I play, like, two Smash tournaments in my life. Yeah. And I just did not comprehend how the double limb bracket worked. I was just kind of like opening the app, looking at my pairing, seeing like, oh. It's fair enough. You okay. get used to it after a while, but a lot of it depends on the fact that like you can go find opponents independently. Yeah. All right, game two. Uh, I see a lot of search power. Like there's two fog crystals in there. There's a great ball. I can absolutely get a decent bench set up here, which is the most crucial part of the matchup. Yeah, perhaps even a Remoraid this time. Pretty nice. Like, 
It goes for an NK. Then you're gonna fire the Great Ball. And he probably fought Crystal again for a Psychic. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's, never mind. That's less rough. That looked really rough. But he got the Minchino. Last card, Minchino. He has draw support next turn. There's a Bruno in there, too. If, we're, if nothing else, Bruno for four at least can... You can play this entire hand down and then Bruno for four. Which is not good, but maybe it gets you somewhere else. You get a Professor Birch's observation that you flipped a Tails on. Mm -hmm. That's that card. I ran one of it in every deck I could while it was legal just because I pulled a Full Art. I pulled a Full Art and I sold it to my local card store right away because I was not competitive at the time and didn't understand that trainer cards were good. Fair enough, fair enough. I can level ball for a Sobble. This will probably just be a, well, another level ball, apparently. We're still going. Dang it. Thick setup. That is a uh, Remory. Stop putting it in that spot, please. <laughs> this will be an Urshifu. That's a quick shooter to the a just, oh, That works too. Guess we're digging for the energy so we can keep falling. Yeah. Or just to put an energy down on the Urshifu turn one. If we find an Urshifu. Yeah. Never mind. I was in hand the whole time. And Crobat for four. You don't even need to keep calling at this point. There is uh, the bucket and the rapid strike energy, yeah. so you can choose which one you want to attach here. And a couple Drissiles. You'll need to point that out. This is a killer setup going into next turn. Unless Marnie's top tech, but I don't think. Did we see Gabriel was running a Marnie in top eight? Or? I highly doubt that Malamar, of all things, will yeah. be playing Marnie. Like, you need. The fact that you have to run for Karina just kind of gimps your space for so many other things. But on the other hand, Bruno is like pretty busted. Pretty busted in single prize decks, especially ones that don't necessarily make the best use of Rayhan, like Malamar. Yeah. Can we just switch the yeah, just gonna... All right, Corina, that's probably better than a Bruno at this stage. A Tower of Waters. Is that multiple Malamar I see? Yeah, two Malamar. I don't know if he's going to evolve the second one or not, though. That's the thing. Probably we'll see after the Karina. There's a Fog Crystal. Will this be an energy or an kick? It'll be an energy. He doesn't have another energy in him. I'm just taking a look, trying to see what's prized. This does seem like one of those games where we could see Gabriel get um, he could potentially fill up his bench and knock out this Sobble mm -hmm. this turn. Which, if he's able to do that, it hasn't really been something we've seen from him before, but he still has a supporter. Only yeah. has to hit for 80 here. Yeah, only needs if two. You can, if you can... He can do it right get, now if he doesn't want a Karina, but Karina is absolutely the correct call here. Oh, there's a Sinchino. Now it's a corrector call. Nice to see a deck actually playing Sinchino. Trading the Minchino, okay, okay. Great ball. Okay, there's the necessary damage you need. There's another NK, that is very important to get down. Yeah, you probably take the other NK so you don't just die to rapid flow. You make do already, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Then I just, I make do, I turn the two, and then I like, oh, There's a fourth board over there. All right, level balls here, probably for a Remoraid. Well, I don't quite remember what was in the hand, so... Yeah. And then I guess you Evo in sense. You might want to keep it for next turn, so you can just get an Octillery. Because Gabriel lost last game by going all in without having a backup plan. Yeah, you always need to fill the damage. 
Is that right on your bench? Um, no, I'm just adding it. Okay. I'm probably going to mention that anyway. Okay, sounds good. I'll just all of them up. I'm just going to add to them. It's going to fetch an Octillery. That's just going to get shuffled back in. And you've got, you've got Centino out, so there's no, like, the worst case scenario is you have to make do into something next turn. Yeah. And I guess you still have that Bruno in hand. Yeah, just shuffle away the evolutions, and that's a knockout. Please bench the other NK. Yep, he's going to... Yeah, he's going to okay. do it. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Like, if you don't want to die to Rapid Flow next turn, you need to bench that in here. And then, yeah. Now the question is, Landon is very likely to get the Rapid Flow. The question is... What does he hit? Yeah, does he try to kill off the bench support, or the support Pokemon, or the Malamites? Because at this point, if you just kill the Inkays, you're then still eating damage. It's, then, like, they can easily just get brought back with the rescue carrier. Yeah, so I mean, you're not really making much advancement on anything. It's like, we know that yeah. there's a Bruno so, in hand, but I think without that knowledge, you probably knock out the bench support and just kind of hope and manifest it. Yeah, because I think even, um, even with that Bruno, I think it in the long run is more beneficial to just wipe out the bench support. Vaporeon! <laughs> Let's go. Takes a lot of stuff to knock out. Oh, he's going to choose. Vaporeon to just does 90, I think, from. I need to look at Vaporeon's attack. He's going to choose to start setting that up on Deciding that the extra HP is more important than the extra prizes. Oh yeah, uh, Vaporeon's base Vaporeon's attack does 90 and then it gets a switch. Huh. So yeah, I guess with the quick yeah. shooting on that Malamar with the 110 HP, mm -hmm. you can yeah. get some value More importantly, I think the attach was to Vaporeon because he doesn't need to attach to Rapid Strike. Yeah. Just figuring it's a better spot for that energy, still needing to draw the cards. Yeah, Vaporeon coming in clutch is absolutely not the matchup I think Landon was expecting to run into in the finals of all places. Nope. Like, they're playing this for Mew Genesect, or... Do they still do the thing where you have to wait two weeks for a set to come out for it to be legal? Yeah, okay. something like that. I, th I think next week we'll have Fusion Strike, but I'm not too sure. Got it, thanks. Yeah. All right, retreat with the Tower of Waters, and I think you knock out the, the two supporters, yeah. That's the right call. Smart man. Unfortunately, there's a Bruno in there. So now you probably Evo and Sense for Malamar attach. Or do you even get the Malamar? Because you really need to maximize your outs of just getting the raw mm -hmm. Rapid Strike cards off the Bruno. Yeah, you need five here. Without You need to draw five. I think it's very funny that the main card that we use in the, in the rapid, rapid Strike, strike deck, deck is the single strike, strike card. supporter. That that is honestly hilarious. Yeah, Playing this is gonna go for deciding Malamar. to evolve that. I I get it. If Vaporeon comes up, it then leaves you with a Malamar at least, unless you're just gonna get completely blown out, of, get completely blown out of this game with another Rapid Flow next turn. Like, if you get Rapid Flow again, two turns in a row, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, for now. The extra card is more important than not drawing the Juniper again. Or Magnolia or Research or whatever we're calling it these days. Time to watch the cards get pulled. One. That's one. one two, two. Three. And a supporter. Four. Four. Functionally oh, four. Yeah. That's not uh, a knockout. No, actually no, because there is... No in case left. Oh, you're right. No I would not have... I didn't catch that. Three on the bench, and then one of them is in the hand already. Well, so that's all four. 
Paul Crystal will not be able to find another one. We got to see the high highs of Malamar last time. Now yes, we're seeing the, the problems with this of deck lows. and why it's not. And why why this deck is a rogue. Actually, why, why we are surprised to we'll see it, it in finals. <laughs> <laughs> No, gotta gotta appreciate the good single prize decks or the good single prize just means rogue. I don't. I know there's like the Obstagoon and Talion deck that's from Fusion Strike that's getting hype, but I honestly don't think that deck will have much, much legs to it. I mean, it blows up Mew. It blows that's up Mew. And it blows big. up Dragapult, which is nice. Although Dragapult, if Dragapult goes first, it kind of gets blown up. But no, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, he's he's realizing. This is where you play, like, the Rapid Strike Flabebe just to have an extra target. <laughs> and you've got to research. You can try again next turn. Like, you're not in the world's worst position unless you get Rapid Float, which is a very real possibility. Even if you do get Rapid Float, you still have two NKs, so not too bad. Yeah. Going in with that hit for 160. I, I see a... Uh, new Pokemon. Yeah, only, a, to, only hoping those for two. The two. Hoping for the two-shot. Oh, shot. that's game. That's pretty much game. <laughs> he has the Rapid Strike uh, energy in hand. Yeah, but the thing is, though, Landon is not likely to take two prizes next turn. He'll take mm -hmm. two now, but... That's, this Rapid Strike yeah. Urshifu is probably dying going back into yeah. his turn. Like, I think Which means he's going to rely is, on Vaporeon. You However, take that, two now, and then you just know that they're not knocking out the Vaporeon in one turn. Yeah. The Vaporeon is probably going to tank a hit, yeah. seeing as how that turn just went. You yeah, know, it takes eight to knock out a Vaporeon in one hit. Yeah. You have to draw a full, there, suite, a full yeah. suite off of Bruno at this point. Yeah, and there is zero support Pokemon mm -hmm. now. Even if there were, they would be dying this turn. Well, this is the true single prize experience here. You get the crowd on your side, you do something unbelievably hype, then you get blown up when it matters. So, yeah. I think you just target the Malamars here. Or, or it's like, we know there's an ordinary uh, rod in hand, but... Putting a ping somewhere. I don't think it really matters that much. I guess it lets hoping, Vaporeon knock out one of them. Sorry. Hoping a Malamar just doesn't evolve next turn. Or hoping an Inke doesn't evolve next turn. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, gonna take out Malamar and Inke. I will. Interesting. I wonder why. Maybe he's just not wanting to put more um, Pokemon in the discard than needs to be, so then there's less outs to the Babbage Strike cards. I don't know. I feel like. I don't know. I guess trying it depends to prevent on ordinary, the research. Trying to prevent ordinary rod from getting yeah. him back, maybe. Maybe. It seems fine. I guess you're. I don't know. I don't think it matters. I don't see a way a Landon can lose this game. As as hard as that as harsh as that is to say. Yeah, it's pretty unlikely for a comeback at this point. Oh, total whiff off Great Ball? Total whiff off Great Ball. Wow, that's rough. Unlucky. That's what happens when consistency cards are not consistent. I don't get Great Ball. I don't. I know oh, only this deck is running it, but... Um, Single Strike Urshifu also plays it. Um, oh, mood lighting. We're getting the cool lights going. Is this too dark for you guys? Probably. Hey, we don't have the glare on that corner anymore. Hey, though. we can actually make out that that Vaporeon. Never mind. <laughs> One, two, three. I mean, there's a rescue carrier. You you have the out option to get like a Cinchino or an Octillery for next turn, if nothing. Oops, fumbles the card, but at this point, you probably just stretch her for the Inca and a Remoraid. No, that's carry. You're doing exactly that. Carry, you're not stretch her. Showing my age again. 
<laughs> Reprint Rescue Stretcher, by the way. That card's awesome. Yeah, I liked it. I like cards like that that encourage multiple abilities. Encourage some thinking when you play them, you know? Yeah, like Custom Catcher. Mm -hmm. And now the Fusion Strike version is just a more boring version yeah. of it. It's not like it's a better effect if you play two. It's specifically you have to play two. Also, i got to say, coming from mostly Yu-Gi-Oh! these past yeah, couple so years, it's weird to hear Pokemon talk about yeah. fusion cards. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. Getting that second Malamar yeah. into play. Has to do the math here. I mean, you only need... You're heading for 160, so you only need three to take the knockout. Oh, you, those are the three you have to do? That's... I mean, we know there's no rapid flow coming. We know there's no rapid flow coming. No rapid flow. Now you're in a position where but Vaporeon takes one Now you're basically just going to get uh, yeah. like, the rapid strike energy gets searched out. Probably going to see a Marnie and then good luck. Yeah. This Basically, in order for you to not lose here, you have to hit eight cards next turn without any support. You have to draw Bruno and Bruno into eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably not happening. Probably not. But hey, nice but to see the tech card paying off in a very unexpected yeah. way. Obviously doing what it was meant to do, just you're not expecting Malamar to be the thing you're doing it against. It's kind of funny, though, because... But hey, if, if it were can one-shot of Malamar. If, if, it, if this were another Urshifu and not the Vaporeon, this would have been game. It's functionally game. But... <laughs> just doesn't want to draw the side again. Yeah. You do need to quick shooter the active in order to knock it out with Vaporeon, which then makes it a funny amount of overkill. Yeah, Marnie. Yep, there's that Marnie. Shuffle the hand, put it on the deck. Or uh, under the deck, I guess. On the bottom. Never going to see those cards again. Yep, gets to cut the hand. <laughs> Such a funny worded card. All right, what are those for? Not a supporter. You can scoop up net, go out on your own terms. Yeah, quick shooter, knockout. Please scoop up net. Please. Scoop. Oh, no, that's uh, a Corona. I don't think it matters. It, it does not matter. Take the hero's way out. Take the hero's way out. Play the net. Net, 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 net. I don't blame him for not, but also, like, take the hero's way out. Okay, now we're actually going <laughs> to... Just to draw an extra card off of Corrina. You netted the wrong Pokemon. Really, really trying for Corrina here. Yeah. To be fair, if he somehow manages to pull eight, he wins. If, um... If, I don't know what's in the discard, but hypothetically, a double carrier could get there. Yeah, you hit two carriers, if, if you hit maybe? If you hit two carrier, and then the rest of your hand is all rapid strike cards. But I don't know if there's even enough rapid strike Pokemon in the discard for that to work, or if there's enough carriers in deck. Hilariously, that is entirely rapid strike cards. It's just not enough. <laughs> His hand is six rapid strike cards, five once he attaches. And we see Gabriel concede. That is the win for Good Landon. Good stuff to Landon. Uh, the 2 0. I'm going to say, the, I'm gonna say the Vaporeon mattered, even though it only came up game two. Yeah, Just because. Was, uh, yeah, actually, the Vaporeon did matter there because I mean, he drew into a hand of six rapid strikes. He attaches the energy. He one shots an Urshifu, I mean, just like that. If, if that Vaporeon were the Urshifu, the game would have just ended before this that. This is a fair anyway. point. I just want to hype uh, up Vaporeon. Yeah. Vaporeon. Yeah. Works good, out. Stuff to Landon. good stuff to Gabriel for even making it here, though, yeah. with a deck that, again, is not good. Yeah. We do not see, not good. We do not see that Rapid Strike Malamar do well often for a reason, but Gabriel, with his expert knowledge of yeah. the deck, piloted it through. He knew that it took five cards to knock out an Urshifu, so that's one, more, that's one more thing that he knew that we didn't. Absolutely. All right, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be back with, like, some other games. We've got uh, Nick All-Stars. we got Smash, two kinds of Smash. we got Rivals of Aether. I will be competing in Smash later. You will not. No. Yeah. Tune in next week. we got more of this coming. Maybe I'll actually be playing next week. Ooh. <laughs>
No, I, I, I ordered the cards I needed for my deck, and then we lost all of our roads. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. I'm so thankful that I can walk to work and I don't have to fill up for God knows how long. Yeah. Like, I, I, I just recently moved to this city. Oh, yeah? And, like, the week that I moved out, I bought three whole chickens and six pounds of ground beef from Costco. So now that's all just chilling in my freezer and the shortages nice, nice. are not touching me. Contemplating flipping them for 20 bucks a pound. The food's more worth it long term, I feel. Yeah. Like, what are you going to use that money to do now that you don't have food? Buy more food. Buy more food, believe it. This is true. I crushed my envelopes. Dude, I'm so hungry, bro. It's crazy. Yeah? Thank you, guys. Yeah? Thank you. Let's go. We got some smash on the screen there. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Uh, you can't see it because of the glare, but there is melee there. Trust us. I have not watched melee in a very long time. I don't really watch melee much. I'm more of an old player, but <laughs> I don't really play either competitively. Like I, Fair I, I never touch melee, and I never like touch ultimate competitively either. Yeah. But sometimes they're just fun to watch. Mm -hmm. It may feel clunky as hell when I try to wave dash. I need to go enter. Oh my god! Cool. I just realized I haven't entered yet. Uh oh! <laughs> oh have fun with that. Now it's just me. How's it going, homies? Talk to me in the chat. I think it may be my turn to head off now. Thank you guys for tuning in for the Pokemon VSB Weekly Sunday Tournament. I will hopefully see you again next week. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.